What's good y'all, it's your boy Skookum. Welcome back to another episode of Wildlife Control Operator. Let's get into it. What's good everybody, it's your boy Skookum. Welcome back to another episode of Wildlife Control Operator. A lot's been going on since the last time I updated y'all. Starting with a vacation in Hawaii. The view from our back porch was over a, a freshwater waterfall. It's pretty sick. We got to swim with turtles. Got to see them up close, it was pretty rad. Got to do some fishing out in some waters that I'm not used to and uh, just got to enjoy some peace with the family. Woo! All right, as far as jobs that I've had since I uh, checked in with you guys last, I had a couple bat jobs. One of the bat jobs, I actually got to go in the attic and locate where the bats were. That was pretty intense. Didn't know when they were gonna fly towards my face. And then I step through the roof and fall down. And get sued just kidding but in an attic yeah you gotta watch your step or you definitely could come through the roof i've been battling rats here at the homestead and uh, residentially for a job but i've decided i'm probably not gonna do rat jobs anymore because they're kind of lame crawling around tight quarters in that nasty space is just not my thing it actually kind of sucks. So if somebody calls you for a rat, you can guarantee you're going under their house. I've been doing a lot of squirrel jobs for some fox squirrels. I did get a little footage. I'm on a squirrel job at a uh, residential home. The roof, super sweet pitch. Don't feel comfortable on it. I set some traps on the roof and attached them like that. So I'm actually, 16, 18 feet up. I kind of was doubting the setup here, but it worked pretty well. And this little guy right here is an OL, OUL trap. It's Canadian. This thing is pretty sweet and expensive and has produced nothing yet. These were like a six of the cost and I have produced way more. So we'll see. I'm gonna get this guy set a little more straight. But these guys are tricky. Also, squirrel slayer down. I chucked it off the roof. I didn't want to have to carry it down the ladder. Sketchy situation. Fox squirrels are notorious for um, getting into homes and businesses. Um, they like to be safe and warm, which I don't blame them. But can't have them in here. I'm on a house call. Doing squirrels and getting in the vents there. This is a first for me. Double squirrel and a 110. Oh wow, they're both alive. Yeah. I actually got called to do a job that I've never done before and it was actually super nasty. Today, one of my odd jobs that I have is to pick up a dead deer out of someone's yard. So this should be weird. This is my first call to remove dead wildlife like this. And actually the rules and regulations are pretty strict. I've got a set of specific transport tags and I have to take it to the dump. I can't har harvest or obtain any part of the animal. So let's go check this deer out and hopefully all goes well. All right, so here's the deer. Uh, it's just a young one. Been here a while, there's maggots on it. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get him out of here. Um, yeah. All right, so we got this nasty, stinky deer over here at the dump. This is where it goes. And this is where it belongs, because it stinks. So I did get called to a bobcat job and that's probably the biggest job that I've been focusing the hardest on. I did set some traps, some dirt holes and some flags for about a month with no luck. 
And so I switched it up and moved the traps to the neighbor's property. Me and the kid from that farm went on a hike through his neighbor's property and he showed me where he had actually seen the bobcat. So I set up some traps all around there, about six of them, six sets. I probably caught every grinner in that valley, three of them to be exact. We got something. Oh, dang it. Is that another stupid grinner? Yeah. Dude. Come on, dude. You ruined a perfectly good bobcat set. Sorry, right, here at the cubby set. Look who came to visit, dude. So another grinner. That's a pretty decent sized possum, dude, to be honest. Yeah, I might skin this guy out. Got that fluffy fur there. Might make something out of you yet, grinner. After a month of trying, I did manage to make contact with a bobcat, so that was pretty cool. It's the day after set day, um, after coming back here on this hike uh, with the neighbor. It's pretty nasty back here as far as wet, but I think it shows promise. A lot of deer tracks. It's cold, but uh, hopefully I can get this cat, man. I mean, I've gotten cats before, but this one's just proven to be kind of hard. I've been out here trapping three weeks. Okay, boys, this is day three on the new line. Check it out. Definitely a cat, though. And he's kind of small. He's tiny. Oh, well. He will get bigger. Look at that, though. The old double pad catch. Talk about commitment. Dang. He may have been small, but the fact of the matter is this farm had me come out to get their baby duck killer. If this isn't him, it will be him. So I'm gonna reset everything and see if I can get mama or daddy. It's a good sign that I got one. Definitely means they're back here. Man, to be honest, I didn't know what the heck I was gonna do if I kept getting skunked. I, mean, I try not to be a prideful guy, but when you've been out here for three weeks and haven't caught nothing except possums, it kind of starts to make you feel weird. But anyway, we handled that, we got him. Let's go check these traps and reset them. Boys, patience pays off, dude. I don't even know what day this is. I got the big one. I got the big one. Wow. Woo! I caught the little the little one last week. Same trap. So sick. Yeah, dude, got him. It's a deep pad catch. What a beautiful cat. Oh, my heart's racing. Deep front right pad catch. Got a female. Man, what a beautiful cat. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of my wildlife control operator vlog. Uh, I'll update you guys sooner as I'm not taking a vacation anytime soon. Um, so, y'all stay tuned. Peace and love. And God bless y'all.